Today I'm out to see if I can find some badgers and I'll show you what I usually do to find them in this video. Uh, what signs to look for or where they like to be. I usually go out during the day to look for the signs or see if the sets are active. Because badgers are always active during the nights and the mornings and uh, like a half hour before the sunset. So if you go out during the day, you won't actually disturb them. Oh, <sighs> there's a bird. That's one of my problems when I'm out like this. My goal is to find badgers, but I always get distracted by like those birds or a squirrel or whatever. But I'm gonna try to focus on the badgers for this time. The forest behind me is home to a big family of badgers. There's at least 12 of them living in a, an underground complex or whatever. Uh, so I already know that they are active here. But I'm still gonna show you what to, what to look for if you're out yourself. One of the first things to look for is if you can find an, an animal path, like this one. It could also be made by humans, but most likely it's made by animals if it leads into the forest. So I'm following it here now. And then along the path you will find signs like this. There, uh, badgers dig into the ground with their uh, long trunks. And the reason that they dig into the ground is because their favorite food are earthworms. So they dig into the ground to find them. So now I'm following this path, and here's a better sign that the badgers are here. Here they've been digging, digging a lot more than, than the other one. Some spots will only have one or two set entrances. The place where a badger lives is called a set. This place has 12 different entrances where tunnels keep them together, which make this a bit of a challenge when I have to wait for them because I don't know which entrance or exit they're going to use. You can take a small twig and place it like this in the hole. And the next time you come here, you'll see if the twig has moved or if it's still there, which will help you decide which entrance to wait at. If the twig has been moved, it means that the badger has been there. If it's still there, you can just ignore that entrance and pick another one. When the badgers come out from their sets in the evening, they will always spend some time together like this. First they will scratch themselves and each other, and after that they will often play a fight. After that they will head out into the forest. Some will go in pairs while others go alone. This is a perfect example of why the wind is so important. You always want the wind blowing towards your face or else the badgers will smell you. As soon as the badger walked a few meters to the side he caught my scent. The second badger will stop at the exact same spot as the first one.
it's often very difficult to uh, see the difference between a badger set and a fox den uh, because they look similar. One thing that you can look for is uh, if you find bones or skeletons from smaller animals outside the, the hole, uh, it usually means that it's a fox living there because the badgers like to keep a clean place. Uh, but sometimes it's, a, it's impossible to tell because they do share uh, holes or sets, dens, whatever. Uh, after you've done your research and decided where to uh, wait when the evening comes, you should go there uh, at least one and a half hour or one hour before sunset because the badgers do come out early sometimes. You want to be ready when they come out. Badgers have a great sense of smell and hearing, but they don't see further than like three meters. So you don't need camouflage or, or a hide. But what you do need to think about is that you don't smell like a human. Uh, or don't wear perfumes or use shampoo if you take a shower before going out because they will smell you. I always wait until all the badgers are gone before I pack up my things to leave. I decided to go to a different badger set the following evening to see if I could find a very special badger. I've followed this one for three years now and the reason I know it's the same badger is because she's blind on one of her eyes. 